Will I recognize the voice of Jesus when he calls? This is a reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Did you know about the story of U.S. Airways Flight 1549, known as the Miracle on the Hudson River, in New York? U.S. Airways Flight 1549 Airbus A320, operated by U.S. Airways, took off from the Guardia at approximately 3.25 p.m. on January 15, 2009, bound to Charlotte, North Carolina. On board were five crew members, including Captain Chesley Sully Sullenberger III, and 150 passengers. About two, two minutes into the flight, the airplane flew into a flock of Canada geese. Both engines were severely damaged, causing an almost complete loss of thrust. Repeated attempts to restart the engines were unsuccessful. Solenberger notified LaGuardia's air control that he was returning to the airport. However, as the plane continued to descend in a glide, Sullenberger believed that it would be unable to reach LaGuardia. An airport in New Jersey was also quickly ruled out. Shortly thereafter, he notified air control that he was going to attempt a very risky and rare water landing in the Hudson River. At approximately 3.29 p.m., Sullenberger announced over the intercom, This is the captain. Brace for impact. Some three and a half minutes after colliding with the birds, the plane landed in the river. The plane remained buoyant thanks in part to the fuel tanks which were not full. Local ferries and emergency responders were on the scene within minutes. A number of the passengers were treated for hypothermia, but only five people suffered more serious injuries. Notably, a flight attendant was cut on the leg during the landing and required surgery. Everyone was saved. While Sullenberger became a national hero to many, some were critical of his decision to land in the Hudson River. However, a lengthy investigation by the National Transportation Safety Board concluded that his decision to ditch in the Hudson had been appropriate. Within days of the emergency landing, the aircraft was removed from the river, and in 2011, it was put on display at the Carolinas Aviation Museum in Charlotte. The miracle on the Hudson highlighted the critical importance of constant communication between pilots and air traffic controllers in ensuring the safety of flights. When U.S. Airways Flight 1549 lost both its engines due to bird strike, the pilot Captain Chesty Sully Sullenberger had to make quick decisions to ensure the safety of everyone on board. One of the crucial aspects of his decision-making process was his communication with the traffic, air traffic controllers. He informed the air traffic controllers of the situation and his intention to land the plane on the Hudson River. The constant, clear, concise communication between the pilot and the air traffic controllers enabled them to work together to clear the airspace, divert other flights, and ensure emergency services were ready to respond once the plane landed. Today's Gospel invites us to constantly communicate to Jesus to trust and follow Jesus as the Good Shepherd. Jesus uses the metaphor of a shepherd and his sheep to describe his relationship with his followers. He says that his sheep know his voice and follow him, and that he leads them to green pastures and protects them from harm. Jesus is the Good Shepherd. Jesus is the one who knows us best and wants the best for us. When we follow Jesus, we can be assured that we are on the right path. Jesus says that his sheep recognize his voice and follow him. We too need to recognize his voice and follow him. We can do this by praying and reading the Bible. When we constantly spend time with God, we can learn to recognize his voice and follow his guidance. When we follow his guidance, we can be assured that we will be protected and we will reach our final destination, which is heaven. 
Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for loving us unconditionally, for suffering and dying on the cross for us, and for your resurrection that gives us the joy and zeal to know you more every day. Please forgive us for the many times that we were too busy to hear your voice, too proud to follow your guidance and will. We ask for your grace to empower us to recognize your voice, to have the eagerness to constantly communicate, listen, trust, and follow Jesus' guidance as our Good Shepherd. Breathe in me, O Holy Spirit, that my thoughts may all be holy. Act in me, O Holy Spirit, that my work too may be holy. Draw my heart, O Holy Spirit, that I love but what is holy. Strengthen me, O Holy Spirit, to defend all that is holy. Guard me then, O Holy Spirit, that I always may be holy. Amen. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.